Hello and welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host for today. And today we're going to be taking a look again at some new feature, uh, a new feature in version 9.3 of SAP Business One. This is our fifth session of uh, new features in 9.3 and uh, we're looking forward to it today. Uh, we're going to be uh, taking a look a little bit back in time, I suppose, at uh, advanced GL determination. But now the addition in 9.3 is the ability to use user-defined fields as a part of those advanced GL determination rules. So we're going to switch over to uh, Business One, and I'll do my best to try to introduce you to this new enhancement to advanced GL determinations, which is the ability to also use user-defined fields. So here we are in uh, SAP Business One. Now, a couple of things I'm going to show you first, just so you'll see how and where I have them set up. Um, under Business Partners, uh, Master Data, uh, here we have, uh, let me bring one up. You'll see I have a user-defined field here uh, for something called region, and it's got a drop-down uh, so that I can pick a, a region for this customer, right, and assign them one. So that's one of the user-defined fields for this little demonstration that we're going to use. I'm placing them in different locations so that you can see that various things can come together to make these new rules. So that's one on a business partner uh, that we're going to be utilizing. And then uh, if I go to sales AR and an AR invoice, and if I uh, take a look at one that I've put out here, is we're going to replicate this process. Let's get us where we can see it a bit better. Here we are. You'll notice that there's a couple other user defined fields here, or one other user defined field, I should say, where used. And so uh, this is a drop down. If I was to actually uh, bring up a new invoice, I could probably show that better. And um, 